On this show, we've had John Barnes, Matt Letizia, Paul Merson coming up and Paul Gascoigne. How would you rank those four, first to fourth? Who would you want? So John Barnes, Matt Letizia, Paul Merson and Paul Gascoigne. Paul Gascoigne first, then John Barnes. And then, I mean, it's a mix up between Matt and Letizia. Some of the goals he scored was incredible. But Merson was class as well, you know. Especially, but me and him have our own problems when we finished playing in that. But Merson, and I played with him. We both won the Premiership uh, for Middlesbrough, winning the league to get into the Premiership. Um, but Merson had his problems as well. But Matt Letizia scored some incredible goals. So I'll, I'll put them both on level par together. Mm. But Merson was a, a great player. But John Barnes, maybe then John Barnes. Barnes was incredible. Wow, both feet. I remember when he obviously played for Watford and I thought, like, he's a good player, him. And then I watched him. I was first holiday, it was in Greece, and it was in 1986 World Cup. And John Bonds was beating all them Brazilians and all that. And I thought, wow, not knowing four years later, I'm going to be playing with him in the World Cup. You never think of that. And I was yeah. thinking, I would love to play in the World Cup. And then obviously, he signed for Liverpool. He just destroyed players. Both feet as well. Mm. Great Unbelievable player, mm. you know. Do you yeah. think? Do you think he fulfilled his England potential, John Barnes? Well, I felt sorry for him because you get with England, you get to a certain stage, and eventually, when you get older a little bit, then he started getting all fans were against him and that, and I think he got him down a little bit, you know. Mm. But he was brilliant with me, but he used to fucking wake me up. <laughs> yeah, because if fucking now he's like. I hadn't won any medals. He's won fucking everything with Liverpool and that, and their few cups and that. And I was saying, John, what are you talking about football at fucking four? This was like in the World Cup thing. I said, I'm playing in a minute. Man, he went, how many medals you got? I went, I not one. Anyway, that's okay. I says, how much money you got in your bank account? He <laughs> <I> just laughed. <laughs> but yeah, John Bonds, he was, he was just quality, you know? Yeah. Was, um, yeah. You get before them, yeah, he's going to be good. These, these kids, they're only still young, you know. A lot of players don't come into the frame, become absolute class when until they're about 27. I was mm. fortunate, 23, but I was better even when I was this younger, you know. But I, in the World Cup, I had the opportunity. Imagine my, my squad, you know, Peter Shilton, Terry Butcher, Stuart Pierce, Des Walker, John Barnes, Chris Water, Peter Beasy. Brian Ross from Gary Lineker. That's a team. And then I thought, wow, playing with these guys now. And then they, they encouraged us. So I was quite fortunate to be with all them who were all 27, 28 in the frame. So all I, all I had to do was just enjoy my football, you know. Mm. If you'd like to watch the full unfiltered interview, watch it here. So if you enjoyed this, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel.